All right, my friends, welcome back. It's episode 29. So we're in the Europa League group stage still as we were last time. We're sitting on six points. I'm just trying to do the math here because there's three games left. We're four points clear. So if we get two wins, essentially we're in, right? Because we'd have 12 points. We would be uncatchable at that point. Um, if we got a win on a draw, we'd have 10 points. But technically, we'd be catchable. Okay, so we got to win both games. If we win both games, do I even really need to show you this game? Who knows? I'm I'm still learning this whole thing with the Europa League stages and stuff like that and going from the Champions League to the Europa League and, and whatever. So um, we're at home today. We're going to we're gonna roll out all of our starters except for Dave Smith, who is still injured for a twisted ankle for another two weeks or 11 days. So Ari, Zabo, Feldal, Granley, we're resting. Roman and Ostaval, I thought, had been injured. Um, I'd like to get Feldal a little bit better. He's just not done outstanding. I mean, in the last five games. Um, in comp it's kind of weird. He's done well overall, but not in the last five games. And Zabo has done well in the last five games. And, eh, okay, overall. Um, Ari has kind of not done the business. We're actually going to talk to him and say, like, mate, mate, like, you know, like, come on, pick yourself up. He agrees. Okay, great. We've got uh, Jonas Peterson, Eric Anderson, Alexander Torp, Ochels, and Parajo with Leskinen on the bench. Sonic the Sega, because again, we gotta we gotta make sure we're rotating him in for for the the work permit stuff. We're, we also have Jesper Richards, and I'm bringing him in instead of Oystein Stein and uh, Holligan. Um, he's 19. He's got some potential. I want to see if we can kind of rotate him in, get him a little bit of exposure. Again, I'm not taking this team for granted. Not by any means. Not by any means. Um, and I also need to remember after this game to load Turkey because someone said, hey, uh, okay, we've tried, uh, you know, interesting. Um, we, we've tried proving a point and it hasn't been the greatest team talk. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. But I'm going to load Turkey after this because someone said they're kind of on the same level as the Norwegian teams. So I'll add that league in because we've added a bunch of leagues. If you watch the other episodes, we've added a bunch of leagues. But I'll add that. That'll kind of probably be the last one unless, you know, somebody leaves a comment says, you got to add this team. Because it doesn't take effect until June of, of 2026, which is the next season. Um, I don't really like any of these options. Uh, aggressive, cautious, passionate. Um, give the fan. Uh, why would you? Why would you get freaked out about the home fans? What? The, they're your fans. There you go. Killing me, Smalls. Killing me, Smalls. All right, checking the green screen. I'm not seeing any dark marks. I apologize. I do need to like lay down some tape or something behind me. Of course, it's raining. Fantastic. Do we need to go? I'm gonna leave it for a little bit. Sometimes when it's been writing, I've just been like, let's go attacking and more direct passing. Because control more direct passing just seems a bit strange to me. But that's weird that if we got a win today, we would secure it. How is that possible? We'd be on 10 points. No, we'd be on 9. Because we're drawing. We'd be on 9 points. I don't know. I Math complicated. Come on, boys. Let's go get a goal. Okay, they've had... Well, look at how they're playing quite aggressively, you could say. Um, I'm going to exploit the flanks because we should have the spacing, right? If they're if they're all kind of bunched up together, I'm tempted to go counter and draw them up and then get them on the counter. Um, but we'll, we're going to stick with our, like, hey, we play control, we play fluid, work the ball in the box, see how it goes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it looked like Marseille, did I catch that there, had dropped down to seven points. They may be losing their game. Pretty even game thus far. They've had a half chance. Come on, boys. Okay, Torp, not playing well. Parajo, not playing well. Mm. We're winning our fair share of headers. They've had more. We're winning tackles, though. And we've had one cross. There's Wow, look at the crosses. 27 crosses. They've had four. Interesting. Look at all the shots they've had. Okay, this has not been in the best game. Friends? Uh, I mean, they're playing a 4-2-3-1. It's just all bunched together. Um... If we can snag a goal, and I'm going to yell at Torp. I'm not happy with your performance, mate. Uh, Alexander, not happy with yours either. Come on, lads. Get it together. Let's go. 
Yeah, we're even on points now. I'm just cur curious how that would have guaranteed us. Maybe they're saying if Marseille had was beating them, they would only have a point. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go get a goal, my friends. And then we we won't have to worry about it because we can just see what happens. Losing would be bad. Okles, can he get it into Parajo? He's no, but he gets it into Alexander, who beats his man with his pace. We've smacked it home in the first minute after halftime. And we're going to remind them to concentrate because we seem to have issues at times. That was strange. It looked like it was going to go ahead and start the next part of the half and then it skipped to the highlight. We've had some issues with, hey, we're winning or we, we scored a goal and then we like check out. I guess I could pull that down. Why does it automatically put it down in the corner? Why would you want it a little bit higher and blocking any part of the screen? Parajo's on a 6.3. I'm going to demand more, friends. Granley's not paying, playing the best. Torp is just stinking it up. We're doing okay, though. I'm thinking I'm going to bring in good old Matty Luskinen. I'm kind of giving up on the complete forward thing. I don't I don't know. I, I feel like I've played him enough. I mean, it's not been like a season. I feel like I've played him enough to where he should have improved by now. And he hasn't. And that's a bit concerning. So we're going to bring him in. And we're going to take Torp off. And we'll bring in Richardson. Sure, let's get him, let's get him some time. Let's get him some time. I said, let's get him some time. Okay, everybody else looks okay. Let's do a little chitty chat here. I have faith in you. Off we go. Uh, I don't know what's happening. That looked like it was in slow motion, didn't it? I'm really confused now. It doesn't seem like it's in slow motion. My I, maybe my brain was in slow motion. Ari, who's done okay in Dave Smith's stead. I mean, to be fair, Dave Smith is like a four and a half star, five star guy. Um, Ari is, I think, currently on two and a half or maybe three and a half stars, maybe three stars. You know, take the average. Um, oh, oh, he fumbles it. Perfect opportunity it's to smack home the rebound, but we don't get it. Okay. We're, we're holding on to the ball nicely. I'm just going to say concentrate. We got 15 minutes, I'd guess. Till the end of the game. They're all frustrated and nervous and upset and dunker. Here we go. Come on, boys. Don't. Not like this. Okay, Luskin. It comes back to get it. Oh, I think I still have him on complete forward. Oh, well. Here we go. Oh, lovely ball forward. Oh, unselfish. Unselfish. That was beautiful right there. The little cutback. Got the keeper to commit. And they just dinked it, dinked it right over. Some would say it was Christian Pulisic. Actually, he's more of like one of our wingers banging it across the six yard box. Look at this. Oh, it's unselfish. And it gets the youngster, Richardson, his first, I think, continental goal. I don't think, I think he'd scored in the cup for us, but not in a continental competition. Oh, he was rearing back there. Well, that was a heck of a save there by Rakov. Nice, sir. I am going to need your opinion about what to do in the transfer window. Because we're, we're, we got money. Yo! And we have some positions of need. But I think I mentioned this in the last episode. We can only have nine players that were not trained in Norway. And I'm that if we're going to lose somebody, I'm not sure who we need to lose. Uh, because we also have some Norwegian players I want to replace. But that means I have to find more Norwegian players. So the whole registration rules thing is a bit infuriating. Um, some people have asked, like, in the Discord, like, hey, what? how long are we going to be here? I'd like to win something. Like... I'm not saying we're going to win the Champions League. I'd like to win or go deep, maybe, in the Champions League or the Europa League. Oh, a heavy first touch, but the keeper does nothing with that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, my friends. Let's take somebody off who we need. Peterson is always going to be my first choice. Protect the youngster. Um, so I'm not saying we're going to win the Champions League or the Europa League, but I'd like to make a solid run before we make any rash decisions. And... And really, I'm not sure if there's anywhere else we could go. Because, again, the the Elite Syrian is, like, the 13th ranked league in Europe. And I'm not sure if there's, like, maybe the Swedish league is higher. Oh, 7-0. That's mm, aggressive. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to let Miko handle it. Yay. Okay. You go from a 6.5 to a 9.2, you get, you get some praise. And you don't care about it. 
per the usual, my friends. Per the usual. We got an international break coming up. Let's look at some of these scores. Everton 4-0. Basel gets a win. They were kind of behind there. Hoffenheim loses to Leicester. Hoffenheim had been kind of boshing their group. Salzburg with a win there. Any Nothing else super exciting, my friends. It doesn't say that we've guaranteed ourselves. Okay, we're on nine points. There's two games left. That's f six points. So they could hop us, and they could hop us. So, yeah, if we get, I think, a draw in the next game, that should seal it because we are playing Anderlecht. All right, we have a 21-day break that I have to continue through. So while you're waiting, which is really going to be like three seconds for you, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. I'll be right back. The one time I don't rest the players for like one or two days after the game because we have a 21-day break. Our only left back pulls his hamstring out for two weeks. Dave Smith is back in six days. So apparently he's going to start in the Anderlecht game. Just thought you might want to. Yeah, good times. All right, so like you get a three-week break and immediately you get a bunch of injuries. So Oystein Stein had a pulled calf muscle. He's capable Leskinen pulled his groin on international duty. I think it was international duty. Uh, Freyne Sness definitely was injured on international duty. Day Smith is coming back. He's only good for 45 minutes. That's not good, but we kind of need to get him in the mix because we've only got three games left. So we are going to... What are we going to do, my friends? We're going to put... No, we got Linquist. Linquist can do it can do the job no we'll put ari on on that side if we had to ari could cover grand lee maybe something like that but ah uh, so we've got hobostad sonic the side guy eric schulz jesper richardson ari tainan and roman and newton on the bench um we also have holligan is out for three weeks his season is pretty much done with a twisted ankle servetson also injured with a sports hernia. I mean, it was just like, bang, 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 bang. Just a bunch of injuries. Oh, I told you we were going to add turkey. So we're going to do that. Add the turkey. Gobble, gobble. Just the top league. Let's see. When does it kick in? June. So all this is in June. It's going to really... I'm doing it for you guys. It's slowing my game speed down horrendously. But, you know, we'll, we'll make do. Um, they're slightly favored. They're at home. We're playing counter. We're going to drop the wingers into support roles rather than attack. We got Parajo. Let's go, my friends. Torp needs to kind of step it up, to be honest with you. I'm thinking if Torp doesn't start playing better, we swap him out for that Jesper Peterson kid. The, uh, the one that we saw. I think Copenhagen has him. Um, right, we'll try go prove a point. Yay, they don't really care. You know, like, Miko, I need you to mix it up a little bit, mate. Just, just a fuzz, just a fuzz, please. Here we go, people. Okay, so we're drawing right now. We're top of the table on 10 points. There's one game left after this. We would be through. No one could catch us from third or fourth. The highest they could get would be eight points. A loss to them would give them, what, seven points? So we could be caught here. A loss is all we're trying to avoid. If we can just get out of here with a draw, we'll take a ball draw, to be honest with you. Peterson. Oh, heavy touches. It's all over the place. Torp. Mm, mate. I mean, to be fair, he was in traffic. So I'm not going to fault him necessarily for that. Okay. No, watch the runner. Yep, that guy right there. That's the one you might want to watch. Yes, sir. Okay, just the one instruction weaker foot nobody else we care about excellent zabo clears it out alexander gets to it first he's pacey does he have any support no he's just going to try and chip the keeper <laughs> from 40 yards <sighs> you know might have been a little ambitious but i like it i like it it's a, it's a sign of confidence we are dominating possession somehow okay you want us to play short passing play, counterattacking? Nah, I think we'll stick with what we're doing. Okay, now they're kind of coming into it. Let's just do a little concentrate, boys. Let's not lose our concentration, you know, halfway through the first half. Tenyeros to Stenucci. Stansui. Oh, it's default. There's bouncing around. They've had four on uh, two clicker chances and four on target shots, to be fair. 
think I'm going to leave it on counter just to, you know, until the until the half. We'll do a little demand more. That'll get us to the halftime. Okay, they've got an injury. Pembani. Is he going to stay on? That's all I care about because we can exploit that left flank if we if if he stays on. Although he's coming, he, he's not really that injured to be honest with you. If we can't shoot, we're not going to win. Generally, that is correct. Um, let's call it with clear minds. Nope. Nope. Show me something else. Stressed out, Oakles. Chill out, mate. Like, I think you're going to... Oh, say, thanks, man. I thought you said I was I was awful. We're going to go attacking. What What better way to get back into the game than by going... Ah, oh, the, whole, the whole bunch is not really doing it. Um, they said shorter passing. We'll try it. We're going to go fluid, take it back to how we how we had it. I mean, we usually put control, but now we're just going to we're just going to run at them. We're still on top on 9 points, but now that that puts us in danger, my friends. Demand more. Maybe attacking is not the best idea here. The goalkeeper's frustrated. That's interesting. Please don't get sent off. We've had okay. He's still on. Uh, but he, okay, he just ju you saw that, right? Okay, that's cuz they took him off. And they brought on a wonder kid. Great. Great. Ockles is on a 6.3. He's motivated, but not playing like it. With a 12 shots, 2 on target, 11 long shots. That's that's not going to do it, my friends. We do have work the ball in the box on, yes? I, I just, I, I mean, I changed it, right? Okay, just just checking. We didn't we didn't have it on on the counter. That's, I, I understand. Oh. Why would you dribble right at There's three guys pinning you to the sideline and you dribble right at them interesting okay we're applying some pressure but they're not gonna make a mistake they're better than that headed on Parajo what's he got he's got Ockels who's not playing well who's going to cross Torp he can hear me sometimes they can hear you they're like oh he's gonna sell me he's going to sell me concentrate he's going to sell me my friends it's gonna cost me my job we're going to leave it on attack. We, we seem to play better in more of attack and controlling situations. I don't even know who that was. Was that Zabo? No, it's... Diawando Digne. That's not correct. I apologize. My friends, in the span of like five minutes, we have gone up 2-1 from being down 1-0. Let's concentrate again. Focus. Focus. Okay, we are going to take off uh, Alexander here, bring on Simon the second guy because he needs games. We've got to remember to get him games. Oh, I didn't take Dave Smith off. That's bad. You didn't see that. He was only supposed to go 45 minutes. Yeah, he's fine. He's had like three weeks to sit on his rear and do nothing, to be fair. And we're going to bring on... We're going to take off... No, he's playing well. We're Yeah, here we go. There we go, my friends. I think we're through. I think we're through, we're through, we're through, we're through, we're through, we're through. Yes, we're through. 12 points. We have won our group in the Europa League against the likes of Marseille and Anderlecht, who actually pay their players. I mean, like we said, I think, what was it, last episode, two episodes ago, Marseille has seven players that make more than our entire payroll. We should let them know we appreciate their efforts. Um... Qualifying is a great achievement. Well done, guys. Absolutely. We're going to look at the overall Champions League and Europa League tables. I'm not going to look at this. I want to I want to hop ahead here for just a second. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Yes. Okay, with well, the reports of a maximum bonus plot of around 21.5k per player being offered for winning the competition, start with an extra incentive to progress in the competition. Let's go look at the Europa League. I mean... There's a game left, right? So we we don't really know. But Arsenal's won their group. Schalke, okay, who who are they playing? They let's go to the next one. Okay, they should win that game. So they should be through, you would think. Um, Midland seems to be, yeah, they're through. As is Bilbao. That's already kind of done and dusted. Uh, okay, close, tight group here. I mean, Verde Bremen's out, but. Any of these three teams could qualify. I'm not sure who's playing who. I'm sure it's okay on here. Great. Um, Everton Basel through. Lesser and Hoffenheim through. Elfsborg and Roma through. Wow, kind of smashing the groups here. Okay, close here. Florentina and Kane could take it. Um, Monaco is definitely in. Interesting. Oh, the Icelandic club. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. 
Uh, Valencia and Rapid Vienna are in. Celtic and Eindhoven are in. Sorry, Frederikstad fans. Ha BK Hawken and... Okay, no. Uh, it could go... They're definitely in. It could go either of those clubs. Interesting stuff there, my friends. I don't know why we just had that accent. Champions League. Let's take a look. Liverpool is... I mean, goal differential, they gotta be through, right? He says, full of confidence. Um... <laughs> Bayern through, Tottenham through, Real Madrid, Man... I mean, unless something goes wrong here. Man City probably through, PSG and probably Chelsea. Copenhagen is... So again, I this is what I was really wanting to see, is how did FC Copenhagen do. So I, I'm glad that they are through the group stage of the Champions League, because it makes me feel not as bad that they absolutely smashed us. They got three wins, a draw, and a loss. They're with Dortmund. That's quite tasty. Barcelona through... It's a toss up here i mean oh i mean shakhtar that they'd really have to overcome a goal differential to get through but you never know crazier things have happened i'm sure if they're playing milan if they're not then they're out uh benfica i mean i guess it depends on who's playing that's kind of up in the air and then manu and juventus smashing those clubs so that's what's going on there take a look at the finance about 7.174 million euros we've got 6.96 to spend um i think what we're gonna do we already asked for the oh i asked for youth facilities <laughs> i didn't show you that it was it's, it cost like 2.3 million um we asked for coaching i don't think i showed you the youth facilities now that i think about it um so things are looking quite good for next season i think honestly uh, there's no need for me to come back and show you the Marseille game. I think what we'll do is come back and show you um, the end of season awards. So be thinking about who you think best player of the season is and all that kind of stuff. And we'll go through that. Cause again, we've already qualified. We've won our group. I mean, I, I I'm going to rotate in a bunch of players, but that's kind of a meh viewing experience. If you ask me, maybe you disagree, but then we're going to see how next season is set up and take things from there. Dynamics are excellent. Um, I did kind of screw some things up. I offered Gertz back a contract. He was good with it because I wanted to see if we could fix this because he's on a youngster contract. And then I accidentally, instead of hitting like complete contract, I hit walk away and now he doesn't want to talk. But we've got him on contract for another year, so we'll fix that eventually. But it was a little like, oh, mm, sorry about that, man. Um, so hopefully we got some players back from injury. And uh, the next time you see us, we'll be at the end of the season and kind of looking into next season. So... If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate your viewership. We'll see you then. Have a good one.